Little girl, you better get in here for this rain comes. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Come here. What's happening? Is it thundering on you? You guys go hurry up and do your business before the rain comes. Rohan, you coming in? Baby boy, you coming? Here. Oh, she's going to get him. All right, go. Oh, Keo. You guys remember her. She's the one I got at uh, the Texas Litter Control that day when they brought all those caught cats, wild cats in. I'm having a problem with her in the house. Um, maybe because she was already a fairly grown kitten when I got her, so she wasn't trained properly. But she is horrible about getting on the counter and pulling down the bread. Like if you had just made breakfast and the bread's still sitting out. Or if we make a sandwich, if we don't put everything away right away. Next thing you know, the ham, bag of ham is on the floor or the bologna is on the floor. Um, I don't know what to do about her. I, I shoo her, I spray her with the bottle, with the water bottle when she's on the counter. And she's a crier. You know, they say Simon, you know, you, we've all seen Lady in the Tramp. Them Siamese cats were horrible. <laughs> and she's got that same loud loud, loud Siamese screechy cry, and she cries for no reason. Well, I think what frustrates me the most is that um, she's a... Uh, there's a bowl always filled up of cat food in the laundry room. And, you know, I keep that little gate there at the hallway that keeps it. So the laundry room. Now, y'all have all seen, I think I've showed y'all before in other videos, that little mouse hole that I cut in the bottom of the door to the laundry room. Because in the laundry room um, is the cat food and is the cat box. And everybody knows what dogs do with the cat box. Also, dogs should not ever eat... Hey, ladybug. Should not ever eat cat food. Cats can have dog food. But there's so much. I don't know if it's protein. I don't know exactly what's in cat food. But if dogs eat cat food, oh my gosh. Mm, the smell when they poop is horrible. And it usually makes, you know, like nasty poop. So you just don't ever want your dogs to get cat food. But... Like I said, cats can have dog food. But I keep in that laundry room a full bowl of cat food. It's never empty. And um, I keep a full bowl of puppy chow, mainly for him, but for her too. You know, Chia, Chia is picky. Chia will not eat hard food anymore. She stopped eating hard food about two years ago. Um, so I keep that lamb and rice food for her, the soft food. Um, but very seldom will Chia go in there. She's probably having a freak out in the house right now. She'll go, <laughs> it's thundering. She hears the thunder, she freaks out. She'll be looking to try to get down the hallway so she can go to the bedroom and get under Levi's covers because he didn't make his bed up yet today. So all of his stuff is still out and she will get underneath covers he keeps hearing it look how he's looking actually i hear a chicken i hear a baby chicken let me get my shoes on i don't want those cats messing with a young chick let me get my shoes hold on y'all hear it i hear it Oh, it's not mine. Steph's got one over here. Steph's got some baby chicks over here. 
I thought it was one of mine that it, did she ever check it out? I thought it was one of mine that had come around, had made its way all the way around my young ones. But that's coming from chick, uh, Steph's little chicks. She's fixing to start. I told her my suggestion, and I'll show y'all. She's got chicks right there. My suggestion to her was, let me enlarge this. See that goat house right here? That's her old goat house right there. It had three sides on it, but uh, I don't know what, I, maybe it rotted, I don't know, but one side fell off the back side. So it had three sides on it and then a roof, but it's short, you have to crawl in it. Even me, and I'm a short person, you have to bend down to go in. I told her what we, cause she was talking about building a chicken coop. And she goes, she doesn't know what to do first. You know, I suggest you don't get any baby chicks until she's got her coop built. But she ordered chicks. Ooh, that was straight down lightning right up over there. But she ordered her chicks and she's got this raised planter. I'll just show them that, show y'all that real quick. And then I'll turn around and show my suggestion. But they're in here. Um, she's got, this is like that netting, but it's real little. So snakes, unless it's a tiny snake, can't get in. This is one of her raised, uh, garden beds. And then she's got this tarp over it. It's got it staked in the ground. It's really good. They can't get out. And then she's got this tote that she turned upside down and cut a hole out of it for them. So they can go then in and out. Bring it. What I suggested is that she take her bees Cause she don't want them. She used to have a coop right out here. It was sort of underneath this little tree, but it was so close to the house. And y'all know that chickens, they start stinking, especially when it's rainy and the ground is wet and it's chicken poop and it's feed and it's, it stinks so bad. It's, it's not quite as bad as pigs, but it does stink. And she said it smelt bad here all the time. Um, in fact, this is this, this picnic table I gave them, which is about hit the, that was a slab right outside. It's sitting on a slab, well, sort of, it's right outside the little chicken coop where she sat her feed and stuff, her feed barrel sat. So anyway, I said she needs to move her bees to underneath the big pecan tree right there. And then we need to, underneath these two scraggly taller trees where the bees are now, we need to build her a coop. That way it'll be in the shade. And she can take that and put new four new posts in the ground, but height for people to walk into. And then wrap one side. I would leave the north side solid like mine, because that's where the wind's gonna come the, in the winter time. And uh, I'd leave that side solid and maybe the back solid. And then she's a, you know, but that that's what she needs to do is bring that so she doesn't have to spend so much money because that's a wasted building out there. It's just going to eventually rot down because, no, and then they've got, dad's got the cows in there and if they go under it and then they lift up, they're going to pull it out of the ground. So that really needs to be what she needs to do. The uh, bees need to go right there and the chicken coop needs to be put right here. And then, uh, a little fencing area around it, however big she wants it to be fenced. Or she's got a good chicken yard if she wants to do really good chicken wire, she can just fit, cause she, she had the yard right here. She ha see, none of her backyard has been fenced in. It used to, at the corner of her house right there, she had a post and it came down this way. And this was the other corner right there. It just came. I'm trying to be real fast. I need to back up. It came just from here all the way down and hit there. And then it went over there to that fence. And then she's got a section down right now, but that turned and went up and hit her house on the other side. So her whole backyard was fenced in and her chicken coop was sort of inside this fenced in yard. So my suggestion is that she put this fence back up so that's what we have all the way around is this little square wire. And the chicks, that when they're little, can go through it. But when they're big, they can't. Now, she would have to put something back there better than that wire because that's goat wire. She would need to put this little square wire back there on that fence line. 
But if she put that square wire on that fence line there, and then it's already square wire running down this side, and it's the little square on that side, and then she finishes off this front, this would give, look how big this is. Give her a big area for her chicks to basically free range, even though they're fenced in. So that was, I, I need to, I could, probably I'm gonna have to say, Steph, when do you wanna start on your chickens and I'll help I just you. thought that it was fixing to rain. It sprinkled on me while I did all that little bit of walking around, it sprinkled, but it never rained. We had a 70% chance of rain today. A little while ago it rained. I mean like barely. It's so dark back off over there because I was in my kitchen washing a few glasses. Levi, you know, have to gather glasses up from the house all over the place. And I seen that the hoods of the truck and the white in the SUV were wet. And I was like, oh, it's, it's rained, but it's not raining now. So I came out and sure enough, it had rained. But then it got sunny again, and then I heard that thunder, so I came out with my phone just now, just so these guys could, they could do their business while they're outside before the rain comes. Chio, baby, you're not going in the house. I'm sorry. You don't act right. I usually let her come in a little bit in the morning when I first open the house in the morning and let the dogs out. She comes running in and I give her that chance to have, instead of fighting for food at the back door, I know that sounds horrible. There's four of those, um, there's three of those rubber, really thick rubber bowls that you get like at Tractor Supply. And then there's one metal one. I put food in all of those bowls for these cats that live outside, whether they're wild or whether they're my cats. And you know, cats, they fight each other for, they think it's just like the goats. They think what's in that other bowl is better than what's in that bowl and it's all the same thing. But, um, so just to make it where she don't have to fight with them, I let her come in and eat. But if I don't watch her, if I make like toast for breakfast and don't roll it up right away, and that's a thing. So I may be eating breakfast at a different time than Le than Levi. Now he didn't sleep last night. He was up. I don't know what time he got up, but um, he. I heard the door to the bedroom close, and um, I don't know what he sees. Every now and then he perks up and looks at something. He reminds me of Milo on the movie The Mask when he's running with his mouth open. Um, he left the room, door shut. I don't know. Thank you, wild and woolly. <laughs> Are you gonna come out here and sit? You're not making more tea right now. You can make tea tomorrow. Yeah, tea does get old. It's not old now. I just made it a little while ago. You're not making more. Mm. So that's what he does when he gets up. Come out here. I don't know what he told me. He wakes up and then he does things. So he made a gallon of tea this morning when he got up. Like I said, it was dark. I don't know. It's like that. You know, that two or three o'clock in the morning mess. And when he come to my room with a glass of tea, it was daylight and it was almost eight o'clock. And uh, I had woke up early. My phone dinged. Um, some, somebody sent me something on Messenger and it, it, it woke me up. Uh, usually I'm up about seven or 7.30. I'm up. I see. Uh, oh, she's playing with that flag. <laughs> and Piper is up in that tree. Piper! Get it, get it, Piper! She's my old cat. I've had her a long time. Piper! She had one set of kittens and then I had her fixed. Is that scary? Hey, Milo. 
Anyway, what was I saying? He, uh, I don't know what he, why he didn't sleep good last night, but he was up early. And, um, he had made a gallon of tea. And then at some point he brought me a, a glass of tea. That's when he woke me up when he came in the room. And, uh, so I got up. And he had opened sausage. I know it had sausage. I know it had toast because the toast, the bread was out. And the sausage was sitting on the, just on one of the racks. It's just the link sausage. And it was sitting in the refrigerator on the rack, but it wasn't in a Ziploc bag. So I had to put it in a Ziploc bag. And the tea jug was empty. So that meant, I don't know what time he woke up, but he'd already drank a gallon of tea. I am using right now that decaffeinated sweet tea um, that I got uh, as a gift. It's already pre-sweetened like the Southern Sweet, but it's decaffeinated. And, uh, <laughs> oh, she, that's a little girl with no tail. That was Bobby ran by. She must have come out when he come out and I didn't pay attention. Anyway, um, yeah, because Rohan's out now, too, and I just put them in a few minutes. Look at them chasing each other. Jensen's chasing them. What y'all doing? But he does things. He knows, you know, I'm asleep, so he can get away with a whole lot. And then he just does that when I get on to him for things when I get up. He does that. I know right from wrong. I know right from wrong. I'm going to talk to Jesus because I know right from wrong. And I chew him out. Yes, that's right. You do know right from wrong. Bobby! Get it, get it, get it, get it, baby girl! Little girl, come on. She don't even come to Bobby. She comes a little girl. Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. Oh, Rohan's gonna get her. Rohan! The cats are sort of frisky because it's got a little bit of a breeze in the air and it's cool. All right, I'm going to shut this down. I'm just rambling on. Um, I thought I was going to come out. When I actually picked up my phone to come outside, I thought I was going to get rain and show y'all some rain. And now it's been 17 minutes of nothing but chickens and cats and dogs. Kitty, 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 kitties. What is she looking at? Oh, here it comes. I hear some drops. I just felt some drops. Can y'all hear it? Oh, it was just poor. Just hang around and pour. If it would start raining right now really good and hard, I could go take a nap. I always love a little power nap. You know, 15, 20 minutes. I know I never take, I do almost take a nap every day, but I can tell y'all this for a fact. That I will turn the TV, if he's not watching something already, like maybe he's in his room or something, I can turn the TV to, you know, HGTV is what I usually, it's HGTV or what's, what is it now, the Magnolia channel or the DIY channel. I can go to either one of those channels and start something, but, and I will fall asleep almost immediately, but before it's over, so they're usually 30 minutes long, some of them are an hour, most of them are 30 minutes long, before it's over, I'm awake. So I call them little power naps. And you can really take a nap when it's when it's raining. Little girl, come on. Come on. It's raining. Ugh. Them two scrappers. Leave her alone. They got the same. Well, I don't know. That that's that boy. Right there. He's wild. Watch, I try to touch him. Hi, baby. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Get him. He looks like he'd let me touch him. Hi, little man. <laughs> Honey. Honey, you're so mean. Look at you. 
All right, let's go in the house. Come on. Guys, we love you. We'll see you later. Chia, baby, are you scared? She's shaking. She got that chihuahua shake going on. Uh -huh. Chia, baby, is the thunder scaring you? You want to go to the bedroom with Levi? Chi Chi, come on. Come on. Chi, come on. <laughs> Poor baby. Chia, you want to go to the bedroom? Come on. Chi Chi, come on. Chi. Chia, come on, baby. Chia, come on. somewhere where Levi's at. Come on. You want in the bedroom with Levi? Come on. 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 Come on.